cementerio a soltar el llanto a ver si llorando te puedo olvidar ahora comprendo que es imposible porque ya ni muerta te dejo de amar al pie I've worked here at the Laredo Cemetery a long time. It don't bother me to work here. I mean, I've never seen ghosts or anything like that. But I mean, sometimes when I'm working and the wind starts to blow, I swear, I hear voices. After I lost my son, I lived my life in the moments that were before. Before the trip to the store. Before the bright red ball he had to have. Before I bought the ball. Before we left the store. Before his little hands dropped the ball and he ran into the street. Before the car hit him. Before I held his lifeless body. Before, before, before. I could only live in the before because I died the day I lost my son, Jesus Miguel. I died 45 years ago. I was in this grave long before they buried me. I went to war and learned to kill. I became a man I did not recognize. A man my mother wouldn't know. She called me Angelito. Would she ever call me that again after what I had become? Then came the last day. A routine patrol turned to a battle. I jumped from the Humvee but before I hit the ground, I knew something, something had gone wrong. A bullet had found its target. I sat in the sand, leaning my head against the tire of the Humvee. I closed my eyes and I took myself home. The cicadas were singing. The mesquite branches were swaying in the breeze. I felt the breath of a hot, humid day on my face. And I heard my mother calling me home. Ruben, Angelito, ven a casa, ven a casa. She recognized me. I was Ruben again. could go home. I took my last breath and I went home. They laid me to rest in a dress I never liked. Gaudy floral print that my sister gave me many years ago that I had shoved into the back of the closet and forgotten all about until they put me in the casket. And now I wear it forever. The funeral home, they messed up my hair and makeup. They used an ugly shade of pink on my lips and curled my hair into a style I didn't like and never would have worn. At the church, I saw my good-for-nothing son and ungrateful daughter sitting bored through the entire service. I hadn't seen them in a while, and I could see that my daughter had grown fat. Though I had told her time and time again to exercise, go 
Caroline, I would say, Mija, you need to go to a gym. No one wants a fat wife. I saw that my son had finally lost his hair. Even though I told him to massage his scalp, Gilbert, you need to rub your head. No woman wants a bald man. But they never listened to me. They left as soon as the service was over. Didn't even stop by the cemetery to say goodbye. So here I lie, next to my worthless husband under a headstone I do not like. Why does no one ever listen to me? My grandmother said I was born under a blood moon. La luna de sangre. It's a very bad omen. All my life, I was always at the wrong place, at the wrong time, saying the wrong things to the wrong people. I believed the wrong truths and made the wrong choices. I married the wrong men and trusted the wrong friends. To be so unlucky was a curse that I did not deserve, but I was born under a red moon, la luna de sangre. So, I never really had a chance. <laughs> the crowd will laugh and call my name. Canta, Alberto, canta. I will sing and pluck the strings on my old guitar. I didn't know I couldn't sing. I didn't know my guitar was broken and out of tune. I didn't know. Because my mind was as feeble as my legs. Broken. Useless. With just enough strength to get me around. Canta, Alberto. Canta. I only knew I was happy to be out of my shack and out on the streets surrounded by people who smiled at me and threw me coins. The four big silver coins bought me dinner and three tiny silver coins bought me a Coca-Cola. Canta Alberto, canta. But I know now all I did not know then. Because now my mind is whole. And my legs are unbroken. And when I play that guitar, it sounds sweet and the angels shout, Canta Alberto, canta! <sighs> and when I sing, I'm filled with joy. And in the end, it wasn't hard to die. And it wasn't scary. It was like being very sick with the flu. And all you want to do is close your eyes and go to sleep. Nothing else matters. The bills, the family, the house, they all start to fade away. Because... You can think of nothing but closing your eyes and drifting to sleep. And that's what I did. Al pie de la tumba, mirando hacia el cielo, quisiera escuchar tu voz quisiera abrazarte quisiera besarte pero es imposible tú ya estás con Dios 